like to share with you the story of a, a rather randy rabbit named <laughs> Warren, who for reasons best known to the author and myself this evening will be from the, uh, from the east end of London, ladies and gentlemen, or, or as far as my accent will permit. <laughs> Not for the first time in Warren's short life did he revel in the prospect of his 78th wife. Frankly, he'd been freely rather flirty since Sharon had left him at 12.30. And bearing in mind this was just an hour ago, you can well understand he needed another dog. <laughs> Do you know the difference between a wabbit and a goldfish? Said Warren, rolling over to eye up his latest dish. Nadine licked her whiskers. She didn't have a clue. I thought I had the answer, but Stanley, over to you. My name ain't Stanley. Have you been playing around? Goodness, no, Albert, she said, oh, thinking it best to go to ground. But dear reader, as you will see, rabbits have little to no longevity, as they relish in the motto of safety in numbers, until the next fateful daft truck lumbers. For if a rabbit is going to reach heavenly heights, best that it happen between two headlights, particularly if this can be between junction 16A of the A33. <laughs> Almost every rabbit can easily decide on their most convenient form of suicide, although not for Warren on this afternoon. Was he going to be a suicidal buffoon? Quite the reverse. He would see his tailor. He thought, if I can remember, if I, have if I can't remember, if I have nailed that. But come to think of it, what with one thing and another, I have an awful suspicion she's probably my mother. <laughs> <laughs> Warren emerged outside to have a tinkle and foolishly hit Miss Tiggywinkle, who screamed out with appalling halitosis, Watch out, or I'll give you miximitosis! <laughs> the last thing that entered Warren's head, just before a fair amount of lead, was, although she's pretty, I should really grab it. It might be quite exciting to try a... <laughs> moral. Obviously there are many morals from this story, and apologies if it's all rather gory, but if you want to be safe as houses, just please keep it 